the overwhelming majority of gun owners are responsible people. Their parents and grandparents and brothers and sisters and sportsmen and concerned property owners who are no danger at all. So many of them just want what I want, to keep their families safe. We should not interfere with the ability of those individuals to buy and own guns. And I think everyone also agrees that there are some people who should not have guns under any circumstances. In fact, federal and state laws already prohibit many convicted criminals and others who are dangerously mentally ill from purchasing or possessing firearms. That's already the law. So how do we make sure that the law is enforced in a way that makes sense? Right now in Pennsylvania, a convicted felon, say someone who has been to prison for rape or abusing a child or even homicide, couldn't go into a licensed firearm dealer and buy an assault weapon like the one that killed my son. The background check would stop the sale. That same convicted felon, however, could buy a rifle from a private seller or go online and with a few clicks buy an assault weapon over the internet and have it shipped to his door. No questions asked. Current law requires universal background checks for handguns, but leaves a giant loophole for long guns. It doesn't make sense. If we all agree dangerous individuals shouldn't have guns, then shouldn't we take at least the most basic steps to ensure that they can't get around the system by purchasing from someone who's not a licensed gun dealer or simply going online? Will this stop every criminal? Obviously not. Will it save lives? I think it will. And if we can keep a mother in Pennsylvania from having to go through what I'm going through, and we can do it in a way that makes sense and doesn't impose any undue burden, we ought to do it.